lies within me. I know that I am amazing. I know that I am powerful. Peace and love, family. Peace and love. And welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. As always, I pray this video finds you feeling absolutely amazing. I hope you're feeling inspired. I hope you're feeling beautiful. I hope you're feeling invincible because you are all of those things. I am a huge advocate for affirmations because your words become life. And the more you speak life, the more you're able to experience exactly what it is that your heart desires. So welcome back to my channel. <laughs> my intentions are always to create content that is valuable. My intentions are always to inspire you. My intentions are always to remind you of who you are. I actually have an extremely special guest on today. And before he comes over, I actually wanted to share one of my personal experiences with you so that everything can kind of make sense. So exactly 15 years ago, oh, I was 13 years old and I got the opportunity to go to the Amazon rainforest in Brazil. So I had no idea what that experience was gonna do for me, but here I am full circle, <laughs> living out exactly what that trip inspired for me. So at 13 years old, I was extremely passionate about conservation. I was, ex I was passionate about preserving nature for future generations. I was writing letters to the president, letting the president know that he needed to focus more on recycling and like we needed to protect nature. And a lot of times I felt like I wasn't heard, but the Frankski Kids Foundation actually heard me. It was like, you know what? You are the perfect candidate to go to the Amazon rainforest to study conservation firsthand. Y'all, I was stoked. So I went to the Amazon. I had the opportunity to interact with an indigenous tribe. I had the opportunity to meet God, actually, for the very first time. So I knew God. I was very spiritual. But being in nature, watching that sunrise in the Rio Negra, being able to sit underneath a tree that has the cure to diabetes and sit next to another plant that has the cure to cancer, y'all, that did something to me. And that's when I realized, like, God really gives us everything we need and more. What I was exposed to during that time really ignited a flame within me. And I promised nature, I promised Mother Nature that I will always protect her that I will dedicate my life to ensuring that people are fully aware of the healing properties. People are completely aware that, you know, if you can dream it, you can do it. People are aware that you don't have to be sick. People are aware that you can most certainly live your dream life. And I'm, I'm grateful for that experience. And I made that promise. And so I began to study. I kept my word and I started to study and I came home and I was telling my family we need to change the light bulbs, we need to recycle, we need to make sure that we are creating educational programs. Like I was radical. And here I am full circle back where I started 15 years ago. So now I live in Costa Rica. I live on the Caribbean side of Costa Rica and I just recently met Fernando who you guys are going to meet in a second. When I encountered Fernando for the very first time, I was speechless. His energy immediately was extremely captivating. And, I, and then as he started to explain the different plants that he has here, when he started to talk about the different species of animals and how he feeds, like when he started to say all these different things, I was like, oh my God, you're speaking my language. Like what? And we actually sat down and talked for a couple of hours. What Fernando has done, he has created a beautiful oasis. You will never know what's here, but he has planted thousands of plants here. And he he's gonna come on in a second. So um, I'll let him explain a little bit about, you know, what he has here. But the promise that I made to Mother Nature 15 years ago, I actually get to see that promise come to pass now because we're gonna be hosting some retreats. We're gonna be hosting some workshops. What I'm most excited about are the summer camps because the children are our future. They are the future generation. So yeah, our kids is where it's at. Reprogramming their minds is gonna be pivotal. Making sure that their bodies are clean and clear so that they can receive is gonna be pivotal. So these um, summer camps, I'm excited about them because 15 years ago, I had the most magical experience in the Amazon rainforest. And here I am today, still fired up still excited it's time for me to pass the torch 
So um, for now, I'm going to introduce to you Fernando. So here you are, you have Fernando. Hey everyone. Well, you know, I was born here in the, in the forest, in the jungle, mm -hmm. so connected. And as I get to know myself more and more, I wanted to even connect more with the plants. Mm. And for this, what I start doing is um, respecting the plants, respecting meaning, not using chemicals to mm. grow plants and not like getting mad because it's the forest and it's the mosquitoes. It's just try to understand and how to co-live with this, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So I get to the point where I seen uh, at the time go, everybody's just start forgetting about this. Like, you know, you wake up in the morning and so you run and drink like a coffee. Why right. not drink in the herbal tea? It's going to cleanse you. Right. So what we're talking about here, we're talking about preventive. Mm -hmm. Why not having this lifestyle, mm -hmm. preventive lifestyle? Yep. Of course, this was passed on from my grandfather. But nowadays, it's, everything has changed and we have to like, you know, find this equilibrium mm -hmm. with all the conspiracy and all what's going on. Sometimes we have issues and we don't know. Right. We, we approach a doctor and the doctor is just gives you a prescription. And to the end of the day, you're just working to give away all your energy exactly. to, to all these industry. So exactly. what, I, what I can share so far is, is have a preventive lifestyle, mm -hmm. you know, in the way, of your, the way of thinking, the way of eating, the way of acting, all this. Mm -hmm. And um, all the plants around it, what I was really surprised to see is that after a couple of years that I put over, I don't know, let's put it a thousand plants together, mm -hmm. That's how many you think you have here? I, more there's that? more, of uh -huh. course, but I, you know, when I started, I started like crazy going around and talking to the, like the elders, uh -huh. and some of the elders were like, no, they don't want to give me information mm. because no, you're gonna give it to the white man mm. and blah blah blah. Because you know, as a tour guide, they see you with the yep. tourist. But that wasn't. I wasn't focused on that really. I yeah. was focused more in the next generation mm -hmm. because I was thinking, wait a moment, if our ancestor did leave this beauty for us, why not? why not get in that message right. you know so wow. what i'm putting out what i'm putting out now is to spread these plants everybody should be access to medicinal it. plants uh -huh. to fruit trees to you name it uh -huh. so i gather a lot of plants has nursery and just looking for a group of people where we can just uh -huh. spread these plants uh create it like small garden to the in the schools where they can be educated uh -huh. Because that's in the, key. In the sense. Yeah, of course. education is key. And that's, I feel like that's where the disconnect comes from. Like, we are aware that there are plants that have the cure. Because I shared with you before my experience in the Amazon rainforest um, in Brazil. I was told this can cure diabetes and this hmm. can cure cancer. Hmm. But I'm like, okay, but how? And what plant is this? And right. where do I find it? And how right. do I grow it? And how do I care for right. it? So that missing piece is the educational piece. So I love how passionate you are about just spreading that knowledge. And also with the future generation, that's going to be key. Like we can definitely talk to our elders, but those children that are coming sure. up now, mm -hmm. they we're, we have to pass the baton to them. Totally. Yeah, and that's that's key. So your grandfather was really tuned in with nature as well. Is that what you were saying? Absolutely, absolutely. My grandfather used to play music, oh, wow. preach, for the plants, and he is a man that I just recently heard that he built over 85 houses because what? he's a cabinet man yeah. he built over 80 85 or i don't know how many houses for people without charging a penny wow. back in those times and um wow. one of the things that really um let me like uh, you know wanted to even go to his grave and just wake him up <laughs> and get more information because yeah. i'm like oh comes my other family and never like you know hoping mm -hmm. to this but it's all about there's this connection that we mm -hmm. have. So right now, I think uh, we're in the state where we can just keep awakening. Mm -hmm. Because we go, to, oh, yeah, no, no, you keep awakening every day like the sun go yep. up. Yep. And the, the miracle about these plants is that you can feel the energy. Mm -hmm. How do I start feeling the energy of these plants? I didn't even realize that they were doing something for me mm -hmm. until people start visiting me and they're like, wow, I can feel. And I'm like, feel what? Yeah. I mean, I've been growing <laughs> these plants like just put in the plants. I didn't know nothing about uh -huh. energy. And people would come here uh, and, and hang out and like, and start crying and mm. telling me like, 
I can feel this and now I feel better and this is what started awakening me so I even thank you because you're also stimulating mm. this to because before I was like nah I'm not gonna keep on it's enough growing plant but it's not only growing plant it's about connecting mm -hmm. Connecting with the universe because we are the universe. Yes. We are plants. We are our yes. teeth are stars. I mean, you you see it over here. It's yes. like yeah, electric. You know, yep. the plants are electric. So, I like to talk a lot about uh, preventive. I know medicine. Yeah, we say that's a medicinal plant. Yeah, but when you get sick, mm -hmm. but um, you don't want to get sick. Yep. So you prevent that. Correct. And that life is easy. Yep. I love that. So is that the entire inspiration behind creating this space? This is a beautiful space. Thank you. And like you said, um, other people are like, I feel things when I come. The moment I arrived on the property, the moment I stepped through the gate, mm -hmm. I could feel the energy. I could feel the love that you put into this space. I, could, I was getting downloads right wow. away. And I was just wow. like, wait, slow down. Wow. Like, I don't even know where I am. I have goosebumps. <laughs> I don't even know where I am. But the energy is so vibrant. And like, I feel like I'm in another world here. <laughs> I don't even feel like I'm connected anywhere else. Interesting. And this is the icing on the cake for my relocation here. <laughs> 15 years ago, I promised Pachamama that I will protect her. Wow. I made a promise to the universe that I will make sure that everyone that I come in contact with <laughs> is aware of her beauty, wow. is aware of her power, and is aware that she is there for us. Because our mind is the limitation. Totally. And if we tap in with Mama, if we tap in with Pachamama, we can clear everything. Now I'm here sitting with you and I get to connect and we get to do that. And I can't believe it took 15 years, but I realized that I also had to heal. I mm -hmm. had to get some shit out of my system. Everyone. Yes, I understand. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I had to let go of even my own limited beliefs. I had to let mm -hmm. go of my addicted behaviors. Cause I realized that I needed to go through that. Of course. Because the one thing that helped me through my entire journey was nature. Like, I could not have done it without Pachamama. So everything is full circle, and here I am now, get to finally keep my promise to Pachamama. It's so cool. Pachamama is like, we are Pachamama. Yeah, we are. And uh, once we, every day we just need to give mm -hmm. thanks. Yeah. Grateful. Yeah. Just giving grateful. In the, in the seconds you give grateful, you can feel. Yep. You know, sometimes yes. we wake up and we're just, just this confusion, you know, confusion about the world, about mm -hmm. what's going on, what am I going to do? And nature's just keep talking. Mm -hmm. Nature's like screaming, hey, look over here. Uh -huh. Listen to me. Uh -huh. So what we're going to do is just stop, stop, sit next to a tree, embrace, hug a tree yep. and give up, give up all our ego. And, and let go, yeah. Let go in the forest, you know. Oh, I love that. Yeah. <laughs> let That's the forest, a let the forest penetrate into your mm -hmm. soul, and then you become one. Yep. So. So when, was that the whole idea around creating the space? Did you intentionally create it so that when people come, they can do that, they can let go, and they can release? Is that why you built the cabin? Well, not really. Now, that that was like a different story. Like like I said before, I think one of my motivation was passing this on in a, to another generation. Like leave a nice space for mm -hmm. our kids. Mm -hmm. And then um, when I realized the people were starting getting healed now, mm -hmm. this is when the the cabins and the space and then this starts coming. I see. Because then other people would come and said, okay, I can bring some other people because they need heal, but you don't have a place to put the people. What, what are we going to do? I'm like, yeah, I, I don't know, sleep in a tree or <laughs> no, no, you need to build some rooms and let's get it together. And yeah. it's all starting with um, one lady from New York. And she was like, we need to heal the black women in the United States. Mm. Women's of healing retreats. Yeah. Um, yeah. Women's of colors. Yeah. And then I go like, okay. Let's do it. And mm. it's been happening. I mean, all kind of people, yeah. not only people of colors, everyone. We're all of colors, yeah. white, pink. We're all yeah. one. So um, I just hope that, that this can keep on. Yep. And, uh, and I hope when I pass, when I go away to the next dimension, this can stay and the other generation can overtake maintain this. Maintain it, yeah. And maintain this and, and, and let it grow. Yeah. Because it's very important to eat from the soil, you know, like a Rasta, you know. Mm -hmm. I, I don't have a religion. I was raised in all these religions and stuff and I have to escape. I have to escape because I was confused. I was working and then taking money to this. I don't want to talk <laughs> bad about, against about religion, but what I discover, nature. Yeah. 
nature is the answer. Yes. I have confusion. I just wake up in the morning, walk in nature. I don't say nothing, and boom. Yeah, clarity. Yeah, it's so simple. True. Yeah, so simple. So I, 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 when I walk into the forest with people, and they're like, "Yeah, but th this one, like, no, just connect with it." Mm -hmm. Sometimes you also oh, we drink a tea. So, no, you don't need to drink no tea. You can just go and sit with the <laughs> plant and talk with the plant. Yeah, and tell the plant your problem. And yeah. they go like, no, this guy is crazy. But until you start discovering that and experience, they go like, it works. Yeah. It works. <laughs> I, I, I really, I promise you, I was there. I blah, 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 blah. I'm like, oh, wow. yeah. So, yeah. Oh, I love that. Is there a plant that you have here that you feel most connected to? Or is there a specific plant that always gives you a message or you can always go to that plant? Well, yes, definitely. It's, it's, it's funny what I'm going <laughs> to say. It's very funny. Maybe people are going to say, what? So one of the, the palm, it's a palm actually. Okay. It's a coconut. Oh, okay. Coconut. Coconut <laughs> is my, coconut my buddy. Okay. I mean, with coconut, I can just go there, tie my hammock in between two coconut uh -huh. and reflect. Uh -huh. Hopefully there's no coconut coming down in my head. <laughs> and then coconut is one of the plants that I wake up in the morning early because I want to go find a fresh coconut, mm -hmm. open it. You know, like they say, the rats, you know, drink coconut to wash your heart, you know, use mm -hmm. coconut for my eyes, I wash it, my locks. Mm -hmm. You cook with coconut. So I'm very connected. I mean, you can even build your house with the yeah. coconut. And it's so powerful. Mm -hmm. So this is the... This is the I um, love that. I and, love coconut And even, I, I want to introduce you sometime to coconut sprout. You ever heard of I coconut heard sprout? Of it. It's amazing. Everybody talk about sprout, we do the sprout thing. Uh -huh. But once you walk in a forest and you saw a coconut start growing, mm -hmm. when it gets like three foot, you can open it. There's no more coconut. There's no more water. It's a sprout. It's okay. the soul of the coconut. Oh. And after surfing, I don't go home to make breakfast, nothing. I just go out to the beach, yeah. open the coconut sprout, eat off of it. It wow. just boosts up my energy. And go back again. Wow, y'all just got a gym. I, <laughs> so, I didn't know anything about that. So we all just learned something. <laughs> so anytime wow. one of these days we should, uh, I should, I can introduce you to the coconut sprout. I try not to like introduce it to everybody because you have to like sacrifice the completely palm. Yeah. You have, but okay. it, for so surviving, you, it's amazing. Okay. So once it's actually split, it doesn't continue to grow. No, because oh. you're going to, you're going to, it's like, okay. it's like, the coconuts come in and sacrifice for you. Yeah. You're like a god now. Now okay. you go to the coconut, you open it, you eat everything. You eat the art of palm, which is the art of the coconut. Mm. And you can take the rest of palm and do whatever you want. And the sprout is amazing. Oh. Amazing. I'm excited. That's Absolutely. awesome. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> I didn't know that. So approximately how many plants do you think you've planted here, just here? Cause I wow. So I've been planting plants all over, <laughs> pretty much different places. Mm -hmm. But here it's really, uh, I can't tell you. It happens sometimes like in a period of two months, mm -hmm. I just wake up and I, I have to plant five more plants. Okay. Six. <laughs> and just like difference and difference and this one and that one and the other one. So I would talk about over a thousand different yeah, plants. I love that. Most of the plants that I was focused on is the plant that our ancestors used. Okay. Uh, these plants are electric, like mm -hmm. most of the plants, mm -hmm. but these plants actually, they're, they're potent, mm -hmm. they're cleaning you, they mm -hmm. clean your colon, they clean your blood, your kidney, your liver. Mm -hmm. So when I start seeing that we don't see these plants when we walk along the village, because right. back in the days you could just walk along the street and go like, look at that, this is this one, strong back. Can you back. give an example of one? What is For example, you have a plant that is called strong back. Okay, strong back. Strong back. I that. think in, in Jamaica they call it Medina, you know. Mm -hmm. Then you have the other ones called Jack in the Bush. These mm. plants are so powerful. You can have a flu and you just make a tea. By the time you start you drinking the tea, I mean, the flu is running out like a crazy spirit, running wow. out of your soul. It's like amazing. Wow. Other plants is like Touch Me Not. Mm. Touch Me Not is a plant that we say <laughs> Touch Me Not because in our dialect, because, you know, we speak like Jamaican. Uh -huh. you know? Touch me not mean when you don't touch me. So this plant is a singing leaf. Okay. You touch me not. But this is amazing because what it does is open your diaphragma when you have asthma problem, mm. breathing problem. So that would have been good for COVID, this whole COVID thing that came. If we would have had that plant, that would have helped with breathing and opening up the airway. Well, yes and no, because this plant is kind of like a little aggressive. But ah, for okay. COVID... 
it's funny when you mention, uh, you know, this Mr. COVID, whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, so these people call me, a friend of mine, with all this family. We're talking about over like eight person. And it's like, oh, we have COVID, blah, blah, blah. What are we going to do? So there's a plant called Anamu. Okay. You can find this plant all over the planet. But Anamu, it's so powerful. When you smell it, it's like garlic, mm -hmm. onion, and all the families together. Mm -hmm. So I did get all this plan, mm -hmm. break it, mm -hmm. make a steam, and tell them to inhale. Okay. Next day they were calling me. Hey, we're better. Wow. We start, we start running, and we start like running water out of our nose because you know all this was contaminated with all right. the stuff. So Anamu is the plant for COVID, and that's okay. Very successful wow. because other people are start recommended, and it's like perfect. Wow. Perfect. Perfect. Wow. That, that just really baffles me how we spend so much money on pharmaceuticals and, you know, going to these doctors, which they're just a master of learning. Right. They're not necessarily master of the herb right. or master of pacha. So it's just amazing that you share the story about your friends who 24 hours, they're okay. Then amazing. you have other people that are on a ventilator mm -hmm. and they're letting someone else dictate how much time they have left right. to, to live. Yeah. So would you agree that there's a plant for anything, that there is a plant that can cure anything that you have come up with? Absolutely, because if you look at it, plants are electric, yep. right? And, and we, there's compat we're compatible mm -hmm. completely. So there's plant for everything. And there is plant that can prevent, which is I really fascinated in preventing. Because, yeah. you know, when you start consuming preventing plants, mm -hmm. you can walk through the storm. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, definitely there's plant for everything. Yeah. For your liver, for your kidney, for your teeth, for your gum, for your hair, mm -hmm. for your eyes, for everything. Your skin, your dermis, your epidermis, your knees, your bones. Mm -hmm. You name it. That's so incredible. And not only the plants. Wait a moment. <laughs> We're talking about plants, but what about the ocean? You yes. know, I, I mean, as, as a surfer, I learned a lot about seaweed. Uh -huh. And that's in the culture, like consuming Irish moss. Mm -hmm. Have you ever heard of mm -hmm. Irish moss? Mm -hmm. It's amazing. What's Irish moss? It's all the minerals. Mm -hmm. What's the sickness? It's a deficiency of minerals. Mm -hmm. What do we do? Consume more minerals. Mm -hmm. And boom. Why are we spending our money to doctors right. and buying stuff that is like, Chemic because what it is chemic and yeah. it's not the body is not compatible with this chemic because right. there's no communication in between the chemics and your body. There's no such a thing. Mm -hmm. So true, so true. <laughs> wow, yeah, wow. So did you actually have a teacher, or were the information that you had and what you know about the plant did she directly communicate it to you, or did you have a a guide along the way or a master or someone that says, hey, go study this and then come back to me and tell me what you found out. How did you become so um, educated? Well, this is an interesting question because I always refuse to study, okay. like to go to school <laughs> and to listen to people telling me bullshit. Uh -huh. So I would get a lot of dreams. Ah. I would get a lot of dreams and I would start to approach some of the elders and say, you know, I, I have this dream. And wow. they're like, oh, you, you haven't dreams about this? You should start doing more research about the plant. And I'm like, okay, and I start doing research. But as I said before, people were like, no, I'm not going to give you the information. Yeah. So I have a lot of teachers too. Okay. A lot of people. Uh, you are my teacher because we're all students. We're yeah. learning here. So yes, very, 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 very much. Mm -hmm. A lot of great people that I know. I met a lot of shamans from different cultures. Mm -hmm. I sit, talk with them, share the, the knowledge. It's amazing because one plant, 10 shamans, they all use it for a different purpose mm. and it all worked mm. so just imagine that oh the, the science can analyze something about that it's just because we're so connected yep. we're supposed to be connected with these plants yeah that's so fascinating and the other fascinating thing about plants especially in this village in Cahuita, where it's you know multicultural mm -hmm. Cahuita, and then you have manzanillo which is like 35 kilometers okay. the plant has a name for a different purpose uh -huh. and as soon as you get there and you're like this one is like blah 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 i'm like what <laughs> this and it goes for this i'm like it's it's the same thing it's uh -huh. amazing also in the nature i learned from animals okay those like i will think i will say that's like the third teacher that i have i um follow slots okay because i seen slots with problems so i start watching them in the garden mm -hmm. and they start consuming mm. A quantity of different plants and I was like hmm and then by the time 15 days I can see I see the monkeys using noni 
Okay. You know, I don't, you know, Noni? No. Noni, the scientific name Noni is Morindia citrifolia. Okay. It's a very interesting fruit. It's a sting fruit. It's supposed to do a lot of stuff for you. But before everybody goes like, whoa, that fruit is dangerous because mm -hmm. there was no information about mm -hmm. the fruit. It's an Asian fruit, right? Okay. So I watched the white face monkey taking ripe noni and rubbing it in each other's. And wow. what I start discovering that they have a lot of lice and they was ah. losing their four. And after using this noni, 20 wow. days, a month later, I seen the same monkey completely with four. Wow. And I say, you know what? I'm going to try this. So I start trying it on people. I tried it on myself. Amazing. Wow. Amazing. And now I'm starting reading. I was like, oh, there's research about this. Uh -huh. about blah, blah, blah. I'm like, wow. Wow. So nature again is talking <laughs> to us. You see wow. the ants, what they're doing. Uh -huh. You see birds. You read books and the books are like, yeah, monkey don't eat papaya. Blah, uh -huh. blah, 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 blah. I'm like, wait, I see monkey eating papaya. So I started doing more research. I was like, yeah, it's because the monkey has these parasites. And there's information where they know, because they know, we don't, we came to this planet and it takes us a while to know this, right. but they already know that if they consume a quantity of green papaya, it's going to evacuate the, mm -hmm. their intestine and the parasite. Wow. And right now you do, you, you really go, oh, you can take papaya seeds and it would take the, the, the parasite yeah. out and blah, 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 yeah. blah. I'm like, but how comes the monkey know that? <laughs> so I I tell everybody so connect cool. with nature. It's the answer is there. All of it is there. The yep. turtles, uh, the dolphins, mm -hmm. just nature. Always relaying information to us, and but we get so caught up in like fast cars and our big old houses that we just completely bypass what they're telling us. Mother is here with us in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. She's actually watching mm -hmm. what the monkeys are doing mm -hmm. and she feels totally different and everything makes her cry wow you know she's feeling so connected to pachamama this time <laughs> that she doesn't want to leave and she just wants to learn everything that there is to learn and it's just by right now she's just watching she That's literally it. is just more observant this time just, and just the first it. time she came she was still in her head about her business and this time mm. she's like I'm just here. Exactly. I'm just here. So I love that you said that watching nature and allowing nature to be our teacher. Totally. Because if we just, like the moon. Did you see the moon last night? Absolutely. I, I, I can't, know you did. I, can, I got I to gotta do my moon bot. <laughs> yeah. You know? Just oh. lay out there, sit out there, stop thinking, no thinking, and let the moon do its stuff. Wow. Yeah. So tell me more about your moon bath. Well, do you actually go in the ocean or you just lay on the sand? No. Just... Actually, the way I design even my bedroom, I have a, 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 a part where I know the moon passed, so wow. the moonlight. So I can feel it. You know, it wakes me up. It's like an alarm. I'm like, oh, the moon. <laughs> it's, it's like recharging. Yes. It's amazing. And the other thing about it, it's like it kind of like clarifies your mind a little bit. It's like, like, like bring you down. Some people, it's like, Mm -hmm. But me, it's like the moon is like more like wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. So yeah, the moon is amazing. Oh yeah. yeah. And then I need the moon because you know, for me to grow like the plants, mm -hmm. I need to know exactly what moon for the energy. Yeah. And if it's roots, if I'm gonna grow like roots, because you know, roots. If you eat more roots, you minimize your cancer cells. Mm. So, but to grow roots and make the roots really big, you have to wait till the moon is going down. After okay. the full moon, three days later. All the energy is going back into the earth. Yeah. And this is when you grow your, your tubers. Mm. Yeah, I'm learning so much right now. <laughs> yes, I know that she brings a lot of energy, but I did not actually correlate the planting and the growing totally. with her. Yes, very ah, important. Of course. Yeah, if you disconnect it with the moon, then you might be kind of like, don't know what you're doing when mm -hmm. you're going to grow a plant. Because, mm -hmm. you know, if I want to grow a tree and I want a tree to grow fast, mm -hmm. I'm going to use the, the growing moon. Wow. Yeah. And that actually applies also to, like, our intentions mm -hmm. and, you know, what we want in life. Mm -hmm. So what I've been doing for the last couple of years is just really aligning with the moon's energy to ask her to help me bring forward everything mm -hmm. that she needs me to bring forward. Okay. So last night... I thanked, I got on my hands and knees and I just thanked her for being able to help everyone around us mm. to know her more and to heal and to mm. elevate. So I actually use the moon to align with my intentions. Okay. And if there's something that I really want to come to pass, 
I just give it to her. Or even if there's, I'm dealing with some doubts or if I'm dealing mm -hmm. with some insecurities or something, I just give it to her. I'm really? like, okay, Moon, here, Great. this is yours. Because that's what she's going. <laughs> I mean, she's taking away, she's cleaning, right? Yeah. It's like the rain, the too. Ocean, yeah. cleaning, see? Yeah. I can only imagine that when it rains here, that when you're laying in your bed or when the guests are here, that they say it's probably the most magical thing they've experienced. Well, the rain. The rain. Phew, <laughs> the rain is singing. Yes. The rain is singing. And you know, we're water. Mm -hmm. And when you connect to the rain, you know, I, we get, I get people that are like, oh, it's going to rain. Uh -huh. It's raining again. Is it going to rain? Uh -huh. And I said, you know what, you guys, you guys, you are the rain. Mm. You are part of the rain. Mm -hmm. So listen to the rain. That's again, you know, come back again, listen to nature, mm -hmm. listen to the rain. When it raining, people go like, wow, mm -hmm. I said, so good. Yeah. Especially with the roof, because, you know, we didn't raise and uh, grow with uh, metal. So you don't hear like, right. bam, 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 bam. It's leaves. Yeah. So it's like, Shh. Are all of the cabins made from the, with a leaf roof? All of the cabins, mm. maybe one little one has metal, mm -hmm. but mostly all of them. Yeah. And this is completely holistic. I mean, it's so connected mm -hmm. and it feels so nice. Sometimes it's raining, you don't know. You go out, you say, oh, it was mm -hmm. raining. So the yeah. rain um, stimulates, stimulates your, your system in a way that when you see nature, mm -hmm. it's like nature just did get a shower. Mm -hmm. Just take a shower. As mm -hmm. you know, you come out of the shower, you're fresh. And when you look at nature again, what the rain is doing is like, like resetting. When you look at nature, it's like all green uh -huh. and, and the bloom. And you're like, the rain is uh -huh. amazing. The rain it's is rejuvenation. Amazing. Totally. Yeah. Um, yeah. So speaking of water, when I did a tour before with the family, we went to the huge garden tub that you have here. Mm -hmm. And y'all, this garden tub... Um, is just the most beautiful thing you've ever seen and where it's even positioned here on this property it's kind of like it's just secluded and and around you just have nature just surrounding you so the garden tub and the water can we talk a little bit about hydrotherapy and can you tell us about um, how you built the garden tub mm -hmm. and the intentions behind what people can actually experience there okay so everything start with some idea about what about a jacuzzi like uh -huh. either therapy and all this and i'm like i don't know so i start doing the jacuzzi but i'm like jacuzzi that doesn't connect to me i mean there's something i, I was mean there's, there's there's something wrong here mm -hmm. so when i make a tea with minerals and i will share it with someone they will mm -hmm. go like oh my god no they can't drink it mm -hmm. i'm like how can i get this tea into their system mm -hmm. And this is when I come up with, what about making a big tea? And instead of you drinking the tea, you go in the tea. <laughs> and this is when this garden tub, whatever, uh -huh. came up. So what I do is after, you know, when your pores is open and the tub is ready, room temperature mm -hmm. with flowers and minerals and maybe over 15 different plants or 9 or 11, mm -hmm. you just go right into it and just relax. The biggest organ we have is our skin mm -hmm. and that will start absorbing. So that's when mm -hmm. I came up with that. I love Instead that. of drinking the tea, going to the tea. Uh huh. So you're healing from the outside in and the inside out just that's by being submerged. Totally. And so totally. this is something that you can actually experience when you come here. You can, you know, set your intentions for the garden tub, and Fernando can set that up, and you can go submerge your body in inside of water with herbs, and you can just have your whole reset just by doing something mm. as simple as sitting in an herbal tea basically i love that and it's so beautiful y'all um hopefully we'll do a tour and get some footage of it so you can see mm -hmm. but um yeah when you come here that's something that you should look forward to doing could you tell us the intentions behind the sauna as well and like how the material that you used to mm -hmm. build it and mm -hmm. also how it's very healing and so we're talking about and the reason why i wanted to bring this up is to just emphasize elemental healing right. emphasize healing with the sun healing right. with the water now yeah. the sauna well, the sauna, it's also combined with the moon, uh -huh. too, because the sauna has an, an, a moon entrance, a light mm -hmm. entrance. Uh, the idea of the sauna, the way it shapes, you know, it's breaking the energy, but it's a volcano. Mm -hmm. So I will tell people, hey, now we're going to go into a volcano, because think about mm -hmm. it. Volcano, it's hot. Uh -huh. It's vapor. Now you go into a volcano and you start sweating. 
when you start swimming, you start releasing all these toxins. Mm -hmm. So that's why it has this shape. And we have a lot of volcanoes in Costa Rica. Mm -hmm. Why not? But it's also with a lot of herbs. Mm -hmm. All the herbs we talk about, all the herbs that you really connected with, we will make a huge uh, flea and the vapor mm -hmm. when you start detoxing. It's a completely thing. Not only yeah. detox, what I discover, sometimes I would be a little tense or so, and I'm like, hmm, massage. No, I just start the sauna, go there. I'm telling you, half an hour later, I feel like a kid. Mm. You feel like 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 loose, yeah. you know. Sometimes you're like tight, like your uh -huh. muscles. You go into the sauna, you start releasing all the toxicity in your skin. Uh -huh. Inhaling. Hopefully, it's full moon and the moon just uh -huh. right through. It's amazing. Uh -huh. So. It. You mentioned sometimes feeling like a little kid after you go in and go out. When I one of the things I noticed here when I came, you have a sign that says "Unleash your inner child." Can you tell me what that means to you? And did you, you put that there, right? Well, I didn't put that there okay. directly. I saw someone, you know, there were, you know, there's always people here and they're like, oh, can I run okay. something? And when I saw that, it asked me, actually, give me more understanding. You know, that's what I said. We are all teachers. We're uh -huh, learning. So I uh -huh. saw the person like, unleash your inner child. Huh. So this is when I start connected, you know, like I start going into me mm -hmm. and start to see me as a child, as a child who can play with nature, mm -hmm. uh, understand uh, life in a different mm -hmm. way. Because look at the kids. I mean, they're, they're the master. They're our master. They're right. teaching us. They're right. not worried about nothing. It's called it Right. So when you, when, you, when you can open that and release that and you come to that, you, I think there's no more ego. Mm -hmm. there's, there's a soul there. There's lights. There, there's mm -hmm. uh, clarity. You're flowing. Mm -hmm. Things happen nice. The cosmos is blessing you. Uh -huh. So I think when you unleash your chi child, it's, um, you just open to the cosmos. And this is amazing yeah because sometimes we're just like oh we have to be serious I we know. gotta be do this we have to do this and why you can't you no know, we always you know i always joking and and with some friends it's like no you're always joking man you're not <laughs> serious but what a, the sun is joking the rain is joking <laughs> nature is playing why are we serious about what right you know so right i love that that really stood out to me and i, I thank you for breaking that down <clears throat> for your own personal interpretation because mm -hmm. when i saw that i was like oh yeah i'm in the right place <laughs> like i'm right where i'm supposed to be right here right now so yeah unleashing that inner child that's important that's important and just going back to that childlike mindset it, it does alleviate a lot of stress totally and i also loved when i was doing the night tour with you um so i sometimes when i'm out in nature and i like feel something crawling on my foot or something before I came here mm -hmm. I would be like oh my god what's that or I would jump <laughs> but when I was walking through nature with you and in the nighttime mm -hmm. using the moon and the small lights that we had you made a comment and you said nature is more afraid of you than you are it so it's like why are you afraid you are nature but they're also more afraid of you so why are you acting like that and then you told me the story about the big men that was walking <laughs> They were like, oh my God, what's that? And just acting so scary. And that night, I had to ask myself, like, where did I adopt that behavior hmm. from? Mm -hmm. You know, where did mm -hmm. that come from? Mm -hmm. I even feel more childlike since then. Wow. And I'm grateful that I have a little child because I can even act like a child with nice. her. Yeah. So thank you for that. Um, but ever since then, I'm like, okay, it's a lizard. So what? I'll touch it. It's no problem. And so I was so connected in nature when I was a child, nothing scared me. And then in my adulthood, somehow people were like, I, I don't touch that. And it's all reverse psychology. That to say, it leads me to the, the children coming here, the importance of mm -hmm. having the actual five-year-olds, six-year-olds come while they're still in that childlike state before they are all like, you know, brainwashed sure. and stuff like that. Totally. So how important do you feel it is for summer camps and the kids to be in nature and to be in an environment that stimulates their mind, mm -hmm. their body, and their soul. What does that mean to you? Well, that means a lot because it makes me a little sad when I see uh, brothers and sisters from any race, I don't, you name it, when they come like from cities and mm -hmm. they come to the nature and they like, they scare up everything. It's yeah. not their fault. That was taken away from you. Mm -hmm. That was just taken away from you. I don't know who did it, but it's well done. 
<laughs> that was taken away and I think it's time to give it back to our kids. Right. If, if we're going to be afraid of nature and we don't want to open to nature, we go like, no, we're spraying and we're killing and everything. Well, let our kids at least, because what are we going to do without nature? That's my question. Mm. So, um, opening to nature will let us understand us better, mm -hmm. even, because we're not alone here. And we can't be alone either. Mm -mm. Just imagine the humans and no nature. Right. Just because we're afraid of it, we're, so we're going to create this bomb and just destroy everything. <laughs> and then now we miss the mosquito because there's not, we can't do this. <laughs> but we miss the bee because we no fruits. Yeah. So, yeah, I think it's very important. I have done a lot with kids, uh, take them to nature, kids from all over the world. Mm -hmm. I was surprised the last time some parents from, from the state sent their kids here. And I'm like, <laughs> they, they contact me and they're like, oh, we heard about you. I'm like, yeah. So we want to send your kids there. And uh -huh. I'm like, they're underage. And how oh, are they going to get here? And they're like, don't worry. <laughs> the, the, the plane company, whatever, they're going to just go pick them up at San Jose. <laughs> I did it, came with them, and it was amazing. Yeah. We grew a lot of food. Uh -huh. They didn't even know where pineapple. Their kids was looking for pineapples on the trees. Are you serious? I'm telling you. And they were like, whoa, seeing plants react, you know, plants you touch, clothes. And they wasn't that afraid so much, but they were surprised to see huge butterflies, mm -hmm. insects that looks like dinosaurs, <laughs> that's not going to talk. Because the first thing, and I appreciate these parents because they have this courage to send their kids right. here. And these kids teach me so much. But there's other kids out there, and those other kids need, especially now in this time, they need to understand that's what was taken away from their parents. Mm -hmm. It's here. Mm -hmm. it's, it's nature. Mm -hmm. The plants, the insects, the sun. Mm -hmm. In the cities, people don't see the sun. Right. You no, don't see the no. sun. You got skyscrapers. Yeah. And you can't see the sun because it's blocking. It means yeah. that somebody's stealing the sun from you. Yeah, it's true. So when and they the, came here, mm -hmm. they're like, whoa, the sun. We just go play volleyball. Aww. I want to learn surfing. Okay, let's go in the ocean, the salt water. Yeah. Uh, get bitten by ants. You know, like some parents go like, I don't want my kids to get bitten by ants. But look, when ants bite you, they have formic acid. Mm -hmm. And when you put formic acid in your system, it prevents you from arthritis, from oh. circulation, from this. So. Oh. And then your, your system is even getting stronger. Right. Wow. Actually, I think people should take the sample from Tarzan, you know. They present the Tarzan and he's always... But i never seen Tarzan killing a mosquito. <laughs> but what I'm trying to say is that nature's get making you stronger. Mm -hmm. So if you want your kids to be a warrior, because of in the following five years, we don't know what's going to happen in this planet. We mm -hmm. need warriors. Yeah, for sure. I love that. Nature's a school. Yeah. Nature totally. is cool, yeah. Nature is cool. Yeah, Come I love and get, that. get bit by ants. Uh huh. <laughs> get, yeah. just, what about the bee? Yeah, get bit by a bee. Yeah. Uh, then you will know if you're allergic or not. And if you're allergic, good. You right. know that you're allergic. Then time to work on it. Right. You're not going right. to die. And there's nothing in nature. I mean, I've been, I've been born in nature. Mm -hmm. There's no animal in nature will come and attack you. None. Well, mosquitoes. Uh -huh. But it's because they need some blood, you yeah. know. Except if you have a little bag, you're like, hey, mosquito, here, here's the blood. <laughs> but really, there's nothing, because people have this idea, oh, jaguar, <gasps> is it going to eat me? Yeah. But these are stupid movies, like a shark. I mean, yeah. I swim, my nickname is Shark. Uh -huh. I swim all, the, all my life with sharks. And once you understand their life, uh -huh. just beautiful animals. Yeah. And they're so important to nature, yeah. creating oxygen and gases to prevent the UV. Mm -hmm. People don't know that the, the reef mm -hmm. releases gas and these gas go up in the sky, created a cloud and protects it from the UV because we mm -hmm. have destroyed it, the ozone. Yeah. And nature is still saving us. Yeah. Look at this is big love. This is real love. Yeah, it is. Unconditional love. <laughs> Unconditional love is never wavering regardless exactly. of if we give thanks to it or not we're ungrateful sometimes i'm telling you especially <laughs> when we're so distracted yeah the first thing is to be giving thanks for the rain yep. thanks for the pain yep thanks yep. for everything yeah that's the key giving thanks yeah yeah so something that you all can look forward to is um the summer camps here that's actually what i'm most excited about because like i was explaining 
15 years ago when I was exposed to the mm. Amazon rainforest in Brazil, that fire that it ignited in me and something that has carried me. And so I'm so excited about the camps here, but uh -huh. the intention is it, that those children are gonna have the same effect and they're gonna go and heal their parents. Nice. And then they're gonna heal the next generation. Wow. They're gonna heal their grandparents totally. because they came here with us in Costa Rica. Wow. So they're gonna go and heal. They're gonna be planting and um, they're gonna be even speaking Spanish, you know? They're gonna leave here speaking Spanish. So look forward to these um, summer camps and parents, you can chaperone. You will have to, you know, have your own accommodations. You can chaperone so you can learn too, but it's about the children. Um, so I do want to touch on the cacao. I had an experience with you today making chocolate. Mm -hmm. And that was something that I had never seen in person. But in the States, we think, oh, like Hershey's chocolate is the best. And mm -hmm. um, Reese's is the best. But what that, that chocolate I had today. You like it? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yes. Okay. I could eat it all day long. So even the process of making chocolate from the tree picking the cacao, right. making the chocolate, but more than the chocolate tasting so good, you mentioned chocolate therapy mm -hmm. in the skin. Can we talk on that a little bit? Because that really Absolutely. fascinated me. Absolutely. How chocolate is, it doesn't just taste good, but it actually has healing properties. So the chocolate therapy that is also something that people can do here. Can you walk us through that? Oh yeah, absolutely. And I love it because, um, you know, the cacao is a fruit mm -hmm. and then the final product is a chocolate. So just with the cacao, we do probiotics okay. for your, and that's the therapy already, right? Uh -huh. Your intestine. Now for the external part, the chocolate. So what I do is blend a bunch of plants. And when you break down the chocolate, introduce the plants into the chocolate. Mm -hmm. And when you come out of the sweat lodge, mm -hmm. your pores are open. Mm -hmm. You release a lot of toxin. So your system is like, okay, I'm hungry now. I want some food. So chocolate is like, the way and you yep. all over your skin with the plants and all the electric part poof, goes right into your pore mm. and then after that you feel your skin you're like wow yeah because the cacao butter the spirit of the chocolate is just penetrating mm -hmm. and once you finish that you feel like a kid again yeah chocolate without eating it right you don't need to eat it exactly. you can just put, it put on yourself on and wrap yourself into chocolate with all <laughs> these aromatic herbs uh -huh. and you start you do you rinse off and you're like wow my skin is like so smooth on my hair uh -huh. so yeah that's that chocolate therapy is amazing stuff right how does that sound guys chocolate therapy submerging your body Having a chocolate cast on your body. <laughs> chocolate cast, yeah. <laughs> like, how amazing is that? And that's something that, you know, is offered here. And the experience that you're going to get here is very authentic. It's not um, commercialized. Um, something that I love that you said was a lot of people are always trying to come here and say, like, oh, I want to bring a lot of people. I can do this. I can put a dispenser here. I can do this. And you're like, no. Like, I don't want to wash down what I've created here. Exactly. I want to make sure the energy is right. Yeah. And I, I don't care about the money. I don't care about the commercialism. I care about the healing. Exactly. So everyone that's coming here, it is divine alignment. Because everyone, I like the saying a lot, many are called, but very few are chosen. And so I look at this like the elites or the chosen ones that are able to come here and mm. just really, truly embrace what is put here for us and what Fernando has built for us. Because the next level is mind, body, and soul. When those are harmonized, you have your mind, body, and soul in mm. alignment, you are invincible. When you find that balance within yourself, you can just, the world is yours. The world is your playground. So when people come here, they already give you feedback and tell you how healing it is. But mm -hmm. what about you? What do you want them to feel and experience when well, they come and when they leave? Well, what I really love them to feel is their self. Oh? Is to find okay. their self, their inner self, uh, the ground. And to learn how to connect and be part of their self mm -hmm. with nature. Because when they go back home they're connected mm -hmm. they're warriors they can walk in the cities and know that in the inner that inner god mm -hmm. is awake yes. so they can be potent they can keep on their life uh, have clarity in their mind because there was in the forest 
release all that ego and whatever you don't need yeah release that and just connect discover right. yourself discover the beauty that you have because that's what we have that yeah. beauty that's what's taken away mm -hmm. we need that back yes we do i don't know where it is it's in the vatican <laughs> or where but i think you can find it in the nature because yeah. i've seen people like wow oh my god uh -huh. you know and now i have this energy and i'm going to do the email slow down <laughs> so yeah i i would like so. people to just connect with their self yes, here and, and open and discover the inner God that is powerful yeah, and stop looking for God outside mm. because there's no God outside mm -hmm. it's inside mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I love that that is so <laughs> powerful okay. yes I'm gonna repeat that God is within you you know stop looking for God externally God is within you that right there we can just close out with that message right there God is within um, so this has been really awesome. Hmm. Like I'm thankful that you even trusted me enough to have me have us here, my family and I to come here and even to share your personal experience and what you've created with the world because yes. it's gonna be a lot of people that sees this video. Uh -oh. so, <laughs> <laughs> so thank you for um, your wisdom. Mm -hmm. Thank you for sharing everything. Not everything, it's impossible to share everything, but thank you for you know sharing some gems with us and giving us a foundation. And also opening up the space in the near future in March, we have some retreats. Um, thankfully, Fernando is now um, a friend, a teacher, my brother, everything. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna be hosting some work, some workshops, some retreats, and some summer camps. So I will post everything in the description below. You can also join my texting list and get a little more information about the retreat. But you got a little bit of a glimpse of what is gonna be taking place here, the ceremonies, the chocolate therapy, um, the, the hydrotherapy. We are dedicating our lives to ensuring that not just you, but your children and your parents and their parents have the fundamentals to go back within, to look within yourself, to awaken the God within, and to live your best life free of disease, free of brain fog, hmm. free of doubt, free of insecurities, because you, that's not what we're created to do. Freedom is your birthright, and you were born to live your dream life, your best life, and we are providing that space. Thank you, Fernando, Thank you. Um, to do that. Thank you, welcome. So, you guys, please stay connected. Um, we have immensely enjoyed creating this video, and we hope to see everyone here in Costa Rica. But for now, it's out. <laughs>